So today we're doing a review of the Mouse Day Backpack. In this video, I'm gonna break this bag down, show you everything you need to know, so you can decide if it's the bag for you. We got a nice gray material, fairly minimalist, it looks very clean, luxurious look and feel, but also got some cons. But if it's not, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video, cause I'll make some alternative bag recommendations that might be, you know, they might just better be better for you. You might like them more. But only one way to find out, let's start with the review of the Mouse Day Backpack first. Follow me. All right, let's start by talking about the gist of the Mouse Day Backpack. Mouse started as a small company making protective cell phone cases. And then they blew the f up and became one of the biggest cell phone case manufacturers in the world. You've probably seen their ads. I feel like everybody's seen their ads. And then they said, right, we've done phone cases. It's time to do some backpacks. That's my British accent because they're, they're from England. And this is their third bag that they've released. And it's a little bit different from their other two because the other two were very focused on security because their phone cases are known for being secure. You can throw the phone up and it drops and it doesn't break. But this bag, the day backpack, kind of takes a different perspective. And I kind of like it. As to where this bag is more built on lightweightness, weather resistance, and style. I'd say it's definitely the most stylish of the mouse backpacks that we reviewed. Some of its top features being a front lid secured by a hook, access to the main compartment via this zipper, a very minimalist main compartment, weatherproof fabrics, one water bottle holder, and one, two quick access pockets. One of which has my wallet in it. <laughs> I lose things all the time doing these reviews. Oh my God, glad that I found that. The Mouse Day Pack Pack currently comes in four color options. It's 20 liters, which in my opinion is perfect for everyday carry. Not too small, but also not too big and bulky. It kind of challenges you to cut the things that you might not need. For the bag's dimensions, we're looking at around 18 inches tall, 12 inches wide, and when fully packed out, a depth of around four-ish inches. The bag is advertised to weigh 2.2 pounds. I'm getting 2.3 pounds on our first scale and 2.28 pounds on our second scale. This is the Mouse Day Backpack when it's empty. This is the Mouse Day Backpack when it's fully packed out and worn on me, I'm five foot eight. And this is when it's fully packed out and worn on our media manager, Margaret, who's five foot two. And don't worry, I'm gonna pack out this bag throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. All Mouse bags are protected by their lifetime warranty. And for all that, this bag currently runs around 130 to 150 USD. And if at any point in this review, you're like, holy hot damn, that's a backpack for me. I didn't know I could have a backpack soulmate, but I do now. And you're gonna make a purchase. We do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price and we oftentimes have discount codes. But that link also helps support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel and team so we can keep making the best bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about the front of the Mouse Day backpack. And with the front, let's talk about the aesthetic, which I think looks friggin' fresh and clean with this Mouse Day backpack. Minus one caveat, which I'll talk about in just a second. But honestly, the design is totes gorge, am I right? Very clean with the lid, which gives it sort of a classy heritage aesthetic, but also modernized with the metal hardware and the modern fabrics. I think aesthetically, this bag nailed it. Do you agree, Margaret? I got a kind of from Margaret, I'll take it. I'll admit, it's not my style, but just in general, objectively, it looks clean. But the thing that I don't love about it, or any of Mouse's bags, is their branding. You know, it just kind of looks like childish to me, like, Mouse, Whoa! It's like this super sleek bag, and then it's like, hey kids, let's play. <laughs> I don't know, what do you think about the Mouse logo? They take that off, dude, I'm like, damn, that's a clean looking bag, ah! It's just, it doesn't do it for me, but let me know your thoughts on the Mouse logo in the comments below. But most importantly, let's talk about this fabric. This seems to be a 600D coated polyester. Polyester is super light and weather resistant, and the coating just adds that weather resistance and sort of gives it like a, not rubbery, like a soft rubbery tarpaulin almost feel, which means the rain's gonna slide right off of this, but sometimes materials like this can peel, that, that, that coating just kind of peels over time. I'm not familiar with what material or fabric this is, so I can't say for sure, but it's something to keep in mind. From there, we have the locking mechanism for the front lid. This uses a classic G-hook made from metal for an elevated, luxurious look and feel. But note, these things are kind of annoying to get in and to take out. It's definitely more of an aesthetic than it is like a smooth functioning experience. But every time you kind of want to get in this compartment, no matter what, you got to unclip it and un -G the G-hook. But if you're really concerned about security, that means that if it's harder for you to get in there, it's also harder for thieves to get in there. So win and lose. We'll talk about this more in the next section. But before we jump into the whole lid and main compartment, let's first talk about this quick access front pocket. Because I love quick access front pockets and back pockets and any pockets because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to take my bag off to reach my stuff, right? So quick access pockets allow you to swing the bag around 
unzip, grab what you need, and move on with your day. No additional organization in this pocket. And it's not too big, it's just this size. So a little bit bigger, like down to here. So for that reason, it's a good spot for a cell phone. And with this little front flap right there, it helps to conceal the zipper, which just gives you a little extra peace of mind and theft deterrence. And we got a little key ring loop attachment point, just this little nylon guy right there. It's not much. And if you put the actual like O-ring that your keys are on on there, the access isn't gonna be stellar, but it works. But if you had like a key leash that you can sort of clip onto there, that's the best of all worlds. And one final note, at the bottom of this nylon webbing, you will find a little space right here, which is just like an external lash point. So if you wanna clip something on like a carabiner, you can carry something externally on your bag as well. All right, next up, let's talk about the middle of the Mouse Day backpack. We got one external water bottle holder. And it should be noted, the sides of the bag are actually a different material. So this is the 600D polyester with the coating. This is a 400D nylon. It's a little more crinkly and malleable than this material, which is good because then the bag compresses on its side when it's not fully packed out and expands when it is. Let's test a couple of water bottles. I got a skinny 22 ounce Earthwell and a chunkier one liter Yeti. For the 22 ounce Earthwell, nice fit, little room to spare. You can see that the water bottle has some elasticity to it, which is good because it will expand when you need it to expand and contract when you need it to contract, but this elasticity will lose its life over time. Short lifespan for <laughs> elastic materials. So if you're using a larger water bottle like a one liter Yeti, it will fit very tight and very nice, but you're more likely to lose that elasticity over time. Nothing on the other side or the bottom to really talk about. So let's get into the main compartment, which like I said, every single time you wanna do that, you're gonna to have to unhook this G-hook, which will become annoying to some of y'all out there. But I have to admit, I like what Mouse has done here because a lot of these top loader bags are just like, you have the top and that's it. But Mouse is like, nah, dude, we're modern. We make freaking cell phone cases, okay? We're here, <laughs> we do cool things. And then they gave you the zippered opening as well, which is appreciated because while that G-hook might be a little annoying to kind of do, at least you can get into the main compartment significantly easier. One thing to note before we get into the main compartment too, is that Mouse has implemented some magnets up top here, which help give the bag a cleaner and flusher sort of a look and just kind of keeps the excess fabric out of the way. And you also have a buckle right here for a little extra security and an easy pull tab to unbuckle when needed. Now it should be noted that even with this zipper opening, it's still not the easiest access backpack. It's not gonna be like a clamshell where you can literally just get into it at any point. And sometimes these magnets at the top will end up doing magnet things and connecting and, you know, access would not be the best part of this backpack. I'm just gonna kind of reiterate that over and over in this review. But I do like what's happening in the main compartment. We got a nice gray material with some pretty sexy fabrics. And it should be noted that it seems like the fabrics are the exact same, no matter what color exterior of bag you get. In the main compartment, we have nothing on either side panel, a zippered pocket with a little bit of elasticity right here, a tablet pocket, with some microfiber materials here, and a laptop pocket with some more microfiber materials there. And an inspirational little novel right here. We've, we've got your back, an everyday bank for your extraordinary experiences. I'm inspired, are you? Do you like it when companies put like tags like that in there? I don't know, I, I, I find it cheesy sometimes, but also I get it, but like, I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's go ahead and pack this bag out, show you what it's made of. All right, you can see I got a whole day's worth of crap. But before I pack all this, let's start with the tech compartment though. Mouse says it can fit up to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So I have a 3D print of a 16 inch MacBook Pro. And you can see, slides on in, perfection. There's not a huge false bottom on this bag. It runs basically to the bottom here. So like if you drop the bag, just, you know, it's not like that little extra sense of protection. But I do love this microfiber lining. Just helps to protect your laptop, keep it scratch free. And then after that with the tablet compartment, big enough for a 12.9 inch iPad. I have a, not sure how many inch Kindle. Slide that in there. Then we can go ahead and pack this thing out with everything else. Throw my sweater at the bottom. In the zippered pocket, I'm gonna throw the laptop charger in. Ooh, there's actually one, two other pockets inside this pocket. So big old charger there. And I'll throw some AirPods and tape measure in here. This is not a super accessible pocket, actually pretty inaccessible pocket, but whatever's in there will be safe. And notice too, like as I'm trying to load this bag out, these magnets keep kind of doing magnet things, right? Which might irk some of you. Just kind of yet again, constricting the access. Not in a way that kills the bag for me, just something to be aware of. All right, I'm in a techie mood, so I got three tech pouches. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all those in there. One, two, three. Yet again, the bag keeps kind of wanting to like do this on me, right? I just want it to be like this, and it's like, no, screw you. Throw my book right here, hard drive on the side, sling on top. An umbrella, quick access, you know, in case that rain starts pouring down. You never know. I live in Hong Kong. It can start raining out of nowhere like that. And then uh, 
clip on that hook, we got a fully packed day backpack. Now, one thing to note with this hooking system is it allows you to sort of expand and compress the bag based on your needs. But this part of the hook is not adjustable. So you're really not gonna get down to here. That's like the lowest you'll be able to go. Overall, it feels in the 18 to 20 liter range to me. And I love the minimalism of that main compartment. It's very tech pouch friendly, but that access is gonna be, you know, a little annoying to some. And if you're thinking to yourself like, wow, this guy is taking this bag review to a different level. He's like philosophical with it. Guilty as charged. But I just freaking love backpacks. And if you're here, there might be a good chance that you do too. And you might not even know that you do. But if you're interested in this new world of crazy mind-blowing backpacks that is coming out from all these crazy mind-blowing brands, then you should know we don't just have a YouTube channel at Nomads Nation, but we also have the Nomads Nation newsletter. And in that newsletter, I'm bringing like all the breaking news in the world of bags and travel gear. I'm talking new releases, limited edition drops, collabs, and everything in between from the smallest brands to the biggest brands. So if you wanna stay on top of what's happening in the carry community and see just how awesome everything that's going on is, be sure to look for this globe emoji in the description below. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. All right, wrap it up. Let's talk about the back of the Mouse Day Backpack. Top handle, love the nylon webbing. Very silky, very premium, very nice. Great reinforced stitching there, so that handle ain't going nowhere. But there's not a lot of room for grabbage going on. You can grab it, but I'm a small dude. I'm 5'8 with like little hands, so like it's easier for me. But if you're like, if you got bigger, beefier hands, I don't know how well they're gonna fit in there. It does fine as a point of leverage, but if you wanna carry this bag in tote mode, yeah. yeah. From there, let's talk about the other hidden pocket. The back wallet pocket, where my back wallet was hiding earlier. I'm gonna put it back in there. Don't let me forget, Margaret, my wallet's in there. I love back wallet pockets because it's hidden and secure against your back, right? Thieves ain't, no, no, no thief gonna touch that. Or a really good one, I guess. But also, you can still get incredibly quick access to it. So you can see, when your wallet's in there, you just slide the bag around, unzip, grab that wallet, and you Gucci, baby. But I'm not as stoked about the execution of this pocket, just like some, some nitpicks is, it's a little small, looking at five and a half inches, a little bit less, which my hand is also, you know, a little over four inches, right? So just like, it's a little tight to kind of get your hand in there, especially when the bag is fully packed out. And the length of this pocket actually extends all the way to here. So the wallet's gonna kind of want to naturally go all the way that way. So hand, difficult to get into. It's not the end of the world. But if you're spending 150 bucks on a bag, you probably want to know all these things, right? I would have preferred if the pocket was a little bit longer in the zipper and a little bit shorter in terms of its actual dimensions, that's the word, because then your stuff will be a little bit easier to grab. Finally, comfort, which comes down to two things, shoulder straps and back panel. Now this is a pretty light bag, it's 2.2 pounds, so it doesn't need to be super heavily padded shoulder straps. I think that these are a little thin for my taste. I might have just preferred a little extra padding, but it does have a nice like jelly-ish sort of a feel to it, as to where it's not too firm, but not too soft. So I like that rebound. I just might have wanted a little bit more of it, a little thicker. Also notice on the shoulder straps, no other stuff going on. We got some lash points down here, but there's no like card slots, no lash points on this part. It's fairly minimalist, it looks very clean. Below it, we got the dangle stoppers right here, keeping the excess nylon in their place because here in Nomad's Nation, we hate dangle. This guy gets it. And then for the back panel, again, it's not a super heavy bag, but I still would have preferred a bit more ventilation. You can see we got some sewing cuts, for lack of a better word, on the back panel, which might inspire some additional ventilation, but not much. But overall, the padding feels nice. I feel secure knowing my laptop is in there. But yeah, the comfort of the bag, I'm not quite sure. Only one way to find out. Let's give it a little test run outside. So yeah, overall, this pack feels nice, dude. Don't get me wrong, I would have liked an optional sternum strap, right? That would have been nice to have for those days that you have those heavier loads. But more or less, the shoulder straps, they're thin, but they got a little bit of rebound to them and it feels fine at like the size of this bag. Uh, dangle stoppers help keep the dangle away. Maybe a bit more ventilation on the back panel. This price point would have been nice, but overall, it's a lightweight bag and it doesn't need a lot. I like the comfort. I knew. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Mouse Day Backpack. Pro number one is it's super clean aesthetic. Pro number two is the two quick access pockets. And pro number three is the weather resistance of these materials. But I also got some cons. I'm gonna bring the bag over to this side to indicate that we're switching from pros to cons. And here are the cons. Con number one is I think the back panel could have used a little more ventilation. Con number two, I'm not sure what brand makes these fabrics, so I can't vouch for how long they'll last for or whether or not they'll peel. And con number three, 
Biggest one, pretty easy, is just the overall access when it comes to the main compartment. But there's a good chance that if you're still here, you're like, holy moly, I love that backpack. And if you do, I totally get why. Like, it's, I actually think it's a really cool bag. And just a reminder, if you are gonna make a purchase or just wanna find out more information, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Thank you very much. But there's another possibility that you're still here because I promised those alternative recommendations, like, I don't know, like, like 14 and a half minutes ago. So let's go back over to the bag rack and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, so alternative backpack suggestion number one is going to be this guy right here, which is the Mouse 18 liter backpack which is called the Extreme Commuter Backpack. This is a great choice for you if you're totally digging the mouse brand, but you want a bag that has a bit more protection and an overall more professional look and feel. To learn more about the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. For my next bag recommendation is this guy over here, which is the Boundary Supply Errant. It's a great pick for you if you love the look of the Mouse Day Backpack, right, the whole like front flap thing, but you want something that's a bit more robust and outdoorsy and also has like better breathing and ventilation on the back. The Errant is a carry community classic. And to learn why, check out the description below to find a link to our full review. And for my last alternative recommendation, we got this guy right here, which is the Modern Day Fairy Backpack V2. Yet again, similar design language, front lid, but this one's more sleek and professional looking with the Cordura Ballistic Nylon and the Fidlock magnet. Ooh, you feel that? That's the power of Modern Day Fairy, baby. And to learn why I love this backpack so much, just watch this video right here. If you got any questions about any bags, let me know in the comments below. My name is Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.